model 4062. We're gonna change the logic board on it. I'm gonna show you how to do this on a screwdriver. I'm gonna take off these two screws right here. So once you get those two uh, screws out, you're gonna slide that motor shell, close the door, it's gonna pop right off just like that. This is a Genie board 38878R.S. That's the part number. This is a universal uh, board and I'll show you here in just a second. All right, now there's some screws in here and some harnesses. You're gonna unplug those harnesses just like you would on a re regular logic board. Yep, right there. Oops, right up. And then the one right above it. And then the one to the far right top corner. And the one on the bottom. All right. Yep. Okay. And the ground. So we're taking the ground off. Just let that hang right there. And I'm just gonna take that one off. Screw. And I'm just gonna take the last screw off right there. And pull the board right out. There you go. All right, immediately upon opening the box, you're gonna see a piece of paper in here. It's important that you follow these instructions. Do not skip this and think you can just put the board in and it's gonna work. This is a universal board that applies to all these models right here. This model is a 4062. That's the one we looked at on the motor. All right, and you can always find the model number right there. Okay, 4062 model. That's what you wanna look at for the Genies. This model is a 4062. What it's gonna tell you now is that on this board, in order for it to be compatible, you have to cut a resistor. You have to cut one of the resistors off. This model 4062, look at it, it tells you 4062 resistor is A. You have to remove A, okay, on, on, on the board. So we're gonna do that. And this is an example of what it looks like when you cut the resistor. In this case, it's D for this model. But the one we have now is gonna be 4062A. So we're gonna have to cut A off of the logic board. I'll show you how. All right, so here is the resistors. And you can see on here, A, we're gonna cut A off. Up there. And that's it. So he's gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, and the new uh, the new board actually has one attached to it. I'll show you, right there. There you go. Yep. That's it. Plug in the harnesses in. All right, we got everything. All the harnesses back on are here. One, we got. Two, three, and uh, four, and five. You gotta make sure these things are snug. We got our screw right here. We have our ground and our, our last screw right here. We're solid in, we can put this, this uh, shell back on. You're gonna have to tug on this right here. It's locking in place and it pulls right up. That's it, right there. All right, you can secure your two screws back in their spots. And then you can go ahead and feed your wiring through. All right, make sure you put your wall button on that comes in the box. This motor will not work. You will be looking at it, wondering why it's not moving. If you do not put the wall button that comes in the box, this is the old one we took off. You have to change it. All right. If you're trying to figure out how to do your sensors, just look over here, the STB slot, which is number one and number two. STB is for sensors, BWC which is white and black, three and four, is for the wall. All right, get your wiring on, put your bulbs back in, confirm you have light, power, and both sensors, which we do, okay? There you go, we're gonna set the limits next. All right, we got it all in there. We're gonna set limits first by starting with the up position. So we're gonna go ahead and hold the up arrow until the light turns blue. We'll let go, and then we're gonna hold the up arrow to bring the door in the up position where we want it. Once you get it where you want it, you're gonna hold this, you're gonna push the square button one time. All right, give it a second, and then you're gonna hold the down arrow until it turns blue. You'll let go, and then you'll bring your door down holding the down arrow button to the desired position. Keep holding it down until you get the door where you want it.
Once you get it down, you can make the adjustments. You can push the up arrow button if you need to move it up a little bit or bring it down further with the down. So a little bit, a little bit down, a little bit more. I think that's good. Press the square one time. Press the wall button one time. It's gonna open the door. And right now it's adjusting the force that it needs to open the door. And then press the wall button one more time. If you skip the step and don't press the wall buttons, you're skipping the program. You're gonna have an error. You're done. Don't forget to program your remotes if you have any remotes or you had your cars program, anything like that, you're gonna have to reprogram everything because this new brain that we just installed has no memory of nothing attached to this house. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to reprogram all your remotes.